Hello everybody, I hope everyone is good, sound and safe and welcome back to another video and in this video, in this short video, we are going to be discussing about some of the most common mistakes that the people out there make while working on their speech, that is on their journey to smooth and excellent speech and these are the mistakes which can really slow down or hinder their progress to their speech goals. So you would want to make sure that you don't make these mistakes, that you don't repeat these mistakes that the people out there make. Now, my name is Farof. I'm working as a certified Pro 90D speech coach. I used to struggle severely with my speech and then I used the Pro 90D speech system to transform my speech from severe stuttering and stammering up to this place now where I'm free to say whatever I want, whenever I want and in the way that I want and now I'm also working as a certified Pro 90D speech coach, coaching clients all around the world, helping my students and clients do the same. So everything that I'm going to be sharing in this video has come out of my own experience, obviously of working on my speech and then the experience of working with so many clients out there. All right, so we are going to be discussing these major mistakes. So I recently also did a full webinar on this and we discussed almost eight to nine mistakes that people make, which I don't want you to make so that you can reach your speech goals much, 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 much faster. But in this video, since it's going to be a very short one, I'm going to be discussing about the three most common, most important mistakes or most common mistakes, let's say that the people make. And these three are the biggest ones. Like these are the biggest mistakes. If you don't make these mistakes or if you don't repeat these mistakes learning from the experience of others, then I can really guarantee that you can reach your speech goals much, much faster, much, 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 much faster. All right. So without any further ado, let's start with the first one. So the first mistake that I've seen most, if not all of the people making, that is they are not consistent with their speech practices. Even the people who start working with our Pro 90D speech system, some of them, or not most of them, but some of them, I would say that at the start, they are very, very motivated. Hey, I want to work on my speech. Hey, I want to transform my speech. They're very excited about it. They start working with full amount of passion. They give a huge amount of time to the work on their speech. But with time, what happens is that life gets in the way. Work gets in the way something happens and they either stop working on their speech or they slow down their work on their speech. They don't work as much as they used to at the start. And this starts to make their speech slack off. This starts to make their speech slack down. This is something that I don't want you to do. So it's really, really important to work on your speech each and every single day and keep the work going on a consistent amount of basis. I often tell my clients that working on your speech is just like working on your physique. So if you're working on your physique and you, are, you start going to the gym, so if you just go to the gym for one day a week and you work out for five hours and the rest of the week you're doing nothing at all, you wouldn't start to see any changes in your physique or not much changes. But even if you're working half an hour in the gym, but you do it every single day, that is where you are going to see results in your physique. So speech goes like that. It's very important how much you're working on your speech every day, but even what's more important is to be consistent with your speech practices. You have to be consistent. You have to give time to your speech every single day. And for that purpose, you have to make your speech your priority. I made a video on why do you want to work on your speech. Ask yourself, why do you want to work on your speech? When you have that clear why, that why in itself would make you work on your speech. All right. So make sure that your speech is a priority to you because you can look in the future and see how would my day to day life look like if I could say whatever I want whenever I want and in the way that I want. What would be my job opportunities? What would be my career opportunities? What would my relationships look like? What would my day-to-day -day life look like? What would my mindset look like? All right, so when you have these things clear in your mind, 
that goal in itself makes you work on your speech. Why do I want to become an excellent speaker? Why do I want to become an amazing speaker? Because if the why isn't very much clear, then with time you might stop working on your speech or you might do less and less on your speech. Right? So your why needs to be very clear. Ask yourself that question, why are you working on your speech? And once that why is clear, it in itself would make you work on your speech every single day, which as I said, it's really, really important. Because see, you have been using your old speaking style for such a long time. So it is ingrained into your system. It is ingrained into your subconscious mind. And in order to change that habit, in order to replace that old speaking style with a new speaking style, you need to make sure that you use your new speaking style, that you practice your new speaking style every single day. Literally every single day, you keep the amount of work going on your speech right so this is really 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 important that the work needs to be going on if you're not working on your speech or if you're not working on your speech as much then you can't expect to get huge amount of results so you need to be doing certain things every single day let it be modeling let it be free flow speaking let it be audio listening video watching everything that we have inside the speech system you need to be doing that on a daily basis even on days where you feel like you have a lot of work where you can't do much do at least some even if you have a lot of work give at least five minutes even if you have a lot of work give at least 10 15 minutes even if you can't give half an hour or one hour on your speech every day start off with five minutes and build your way up to half an hour build your way up to an hour you would see that you would start to build momentum with your speech and that is the point where you would start to also enjoy the work on your speech all right so one thing this is really really important speaking about using your new speaking style brings me towards the next point one thing as i said which is really important is to work on your speech every day and then the second thing is to go out there and use your new speaking style every time you open your mouth to speak so we say inside the speech system that every time you open your mouth to speak is a practice opportunity. It's a practice opportunity for you to practice and use your new speaking style. Whether you're speaking with your friends, whether you're speaking with your family, no matter to whomever you're speaking, it is really, really important to always be using your new speaking style. So first you work on your speech by yourself. Then you use your new speaking style in low pressure situations, maybe in family gatherings, around your friends, around your family, where you are at ease, then using them in medium pressure and then graduating up to high pressure. A mistake that many people do is that they don't use it in low and medium pressure because they feel like when I'm speaking with my friends, when I'm speaking with my family, I'm at ease or I am used to the way that I speak with them Maybe they are used to the way that they speak with me. So they don't really feel like using their new speaking style. And they only try to use it in high pressure. Let it be an interview, let it be a presentation, a stand up, a meeting. But when you try to use your new speaking style in high pressure and you haven't been doing the work on your own and you haven't been using it in low and medium pressure, in high pressure, everything would just go outside the window. And you can't blame it because you haven't been doing the practices. You haven't been using it in low and medium pressure. Even if you are at ease with your friends and family, even if you feel like that, if I don't use my new speaking style, even then I would be able to speak well, doesn't matter. Still use your new speaking style. Still work on slowing down your speech. Still work on modeling. Still work on extending and bending in everything that we have inside the speech system. But do it every time you open your mouth to speak, literally every time. You would find that you would need to remind yourself of using your new speaking style maybe 50, 60 times in a conversation. Before a conversation and also as you're speaking in a conversation, in a meeting, in a presentation, in a stand-up, wherever it is. So you would find that you focus on using your new speaking style and then your brain, your mind would bring you back towards that just because of habit and then you would have to bring it back to the new speaking style then your mind would switch you towards the old again you'd have to keep doing this movement for a while until your new speaking style starts getting easier and easier 
and it starts to get imprinted into your subconscious mind. So with time, you would find that using your new speaking style would become easier and easier. And you would start to replace that old habit of disfluent speech with this new habit of fluent and excellent speech. So you keep doing that consciously, you keep consciously focusing on using your new speaking style over and over and over again until after, let's say, three months, 90 days, around 90 days or more, it becomes a habit. And that is where it gets into your subconscious mind. Our mind works like that. Once you keep doing something consciously over and over again, it gets into your habit center. It gets imprinted into your subconscious mind and that is where it happens on its own. That is right now, I don't, while I'm speaking, I'm not focusing on any speaking skills, modeling, this or that. Everything is happening on its own. My mind, my brain, my, my body just knows how to do it because I've been consciously focusing on that. I've been consciously doing that over and over again for a long time while I was working on my speech that now my brain, my mind, my body just knows how to do that just knows how to use your new speaking style but up until it becomes a habit up until it gets imprinted into your subconscious mind you can't stop working on your speech which brings me to the third biggest mistake that people make is that they work on their speech they start to see amazing and excellent results and they feel like all right so now i won't get stuck so now i'm speaking really really well yes you are speaking really well but you are speaking well because you are using your new speaking style because you're focusing on using your new speaking style. It has started to happen, but it is not a habit yet. So please don't stop working on your speech until you know that it's a habit, until you know that it's imprinted into your subconscious mind because many people reach very close and then they feel like uh, I'm speaking well, so I shouldn't work on my speech. And up until that point, they haven't reached the place where it has gotten imprinted into their subconscious mind. And if they stop working at that point, then their speech might slack off a bit. So it's really, really important to keep the consistent amount of work going until it gets into your habit center, until it gets imprinted into your subconscious mind. And your next question might be, how would I know that it's imprinted into my subconscious mind? How would I know that it's happening on its own right now, right? So the answer to that is that you would just know that. You would just feel when your new speaking style starts to happen on its own. When you go out there to speak with someone and you don't have to make an effort of using your new speaking style, your mind, your brain, your body is just doing that on its own in almost every speaking situation. That is where you know that it is now imprinted into your subconscious mind but up until that point don't stop the work on your speech keep the amount of work keep doing the practices and everything by your own that is the formal practices and then keep going out there be proactive look out for speaking situations go out there speak more using your new speaking style all right no matter whatever the speaking situation is so these were the three biggest mistakes that people make. I'm just going to add one more as a bonus and that is that many people while working on their speech, like when I speak with some of my clients, they say that, hey, I feel like uh, I have a struggle saying this word. I have a struggle saying that. I have a struggle saying my name. I have a struggle saying this or that. So I only need to work on saying that word smoothly. I only need to work on saying this smoothly or saying that smoothly. Once again, this is a mistake because while you're working on your speech, you don't need to work on specific words. You need to work on your speech as a whole and you need to do everything. Audio listening, video watching, the affirmations, the self-talk, the modeling, the free flow speaking and everything else that we have inside the system. Because I often tell my clients or I always tell my clients that if you keep working on your speech as a whole, which you have to, these words would take care of themselves. The problem which happens is that if you keep focusing on these words, the more you would go out there in speaking situations and the more you would focus on these words. Now, the more you focus on these words, the more you anticipate them, 
the more you anticipate them, the more you get worried about them and the more you get stuck. So it's really, really important to work on your speech as a whole and do everything. And as I said, once you keep doing everything, these words and these small things just take care of themselves. So letting you know that if you're working on your speech by yourself and if you feel like I need a one on one speech coach, I need to accelerate my progress to smooth speech, then I am also available to coach you one on one. Now, for the last one and a half years, I've been working with clients all around the world, helping them take their speech and their lives towards the very next level with the help of this Pro 90 Day Speed System. So if that is something that you are looking out for, then we are having, we are offering some very, very special prices these days that we haven't offered before this. That is that we are offering six sessions, six half an hour sessions plus one one hour orientation session with me at only $600. Now the price for that, that I offer is $1,200. So we are offering a discount of 50% on that. And this is only for a limited amount of time. And the same goes with our other package that is 12 sessions, 12 regular half an hour sessions plus one hour orientation session at only $997, which is regularly priced at $1997. So there is a $1,000 off. So if you are looking to get the one-on-one -on -one coaching, this is the best time for you. So I've shared the enrollment links in the description. So if you're looking out for that, that is a great opportunity for you. If you're still not sure about the one-on-one -on -one coaching, and if you feel like you need to speak with me first, then you can also book your free assessment session with me and I've shared the link to that in the description below where we can speak and we can find out if the coaching is a very good fit for you. All right, so I'd be sharing the link to that as well and I'll be sharing my email address as well so that whatever questions you have about uh, what I said or any questions if you have them about uh, the one-on-one -on -one speech coaching with me, whatever it is, you can reach out to me on your email address. All right, so I hope that you found this video well and share it more and more, like, share and subscribe so that it can reach out to more and more people in need and it can help out as many people as it can. So I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. May you be blessed. Thank you.